So you're ready to get started with Field Prefill. You've made a great choice that will help you simplify how you build forms and speed up form completion for your end users. Today, I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps you need to build your first form with Field Prefill. Here's a look at the steps we're gonna cover. Starting your free trial, generating saved fields, setting up your form authentication, creating your first prefill mapping, and building your first form with Field Prefill. Let's get started by going over how you can start your trial. If you haven't already, you can start a free trial of Field Prefill by navigating to your profile dropdown and selecting Prefill Mapping. There, you'll see a button to start your trial. If you don't see a Prefill Mapping in your dropdown, you're likely not on a Formstack Forms plan that is compatible with Field Prefill. Talk to your account manager to learn how you can start a free trial if that is the case. Now that you have Field Prefill in your account, you can get started with the first step. First, we're going to set up saved fields. These will be the fields we ultimately prefill with data from our SSO provider. Here, we're using a higher ed course registration form as an example. We've already saved fields for name and email, as you can see here. The formatting added to our saved fields when they were initially set up, like the field label, and its required status has transferred over. We'd like to prefill forms with the student's ID and phone number as well. Now that we've set up our saved fields, we're ready for step two, which is setting up our form authentication. Before I dive in here, there are some things you should keep in mind. Depending on your SSO provider, this step may need more technical support from your IT department or the team who manages your SSO. There are some resources in the description to help you get started. Head over to your profile dropdown and select Form Authentication. Choose Add Form Authentication. Give your form authentication a title and choose your authentication provider type. Formstack is compatible with LDAP, Active Directory, SAML 2.0, CAS, and Google SSO. Google SSO is a great way to test how field prefill works, but note that it only enables you to prefill name and email fields. All of the other providers can prefill data from any standard or custom field in your authentication provider. Today, let's use SAML 2.0 as an example. You can use a URL, file upload, or manual entry to quickly add your SAML metadata. No matter your method, this information can be pulled by the administrator of your SSO provider. Formstack functions as a service provider. You'll need the information in these boxes to establish your connection within your SAML 2.0 provider. As I previously mentioned, Field Prefill is compatible with any standard or custom field within your SSO provider. Here we've enabled some custom fields so we could include a custom student ID field. Once we've set up our form authentication, we're ready to create our first prefill mapping. From the Form Authentication tab, you can navigate to the prefill mapping page using the left-hand navigation bar or through your profile dropdown. Select Create Prefill Mapping. Give your prefill mapping a name and choose the data source you previously set up under Form Authentication. This will bring in a list of fields from your data source that you can map to the saved fields you set up in Step 1. Set your prefill mapping to active. You have the option of adding an additional layer of protection by encrypting your form if needed. If you're working with sub-accounts, Field Prefill makes it easy to share your form authentication and prefill mappings with Forms House and other accounts. Now we're ready for our last step, building our first form with Field Prefill. Start building your form just as you normally would. But make sure the Field Prefill toggle is set to Enabled and choose the mapping you set up. Now, you can simply drag the fields with the Field Prefill indicator onto your forms. When your end users log in, these fields will already be completed for them. On the Share tab of your form, you'll find the URL to share your form, as well as an embed code, to add the form to your site. 
Take the URL and ensure that it prefills how you intended. Here you can see that once the end users added their login credentials, the fields housing the information we already had about them were prefilled. Now you can leverage the power of field prefill to speed up form building for your staff and form completion for your end users. Chat with your account manager today to learn how you can take advantage of this new feature.